gonna need this. Get out of this.
Save these for the trail. Hunting me.
Keep that for later. Information to help me override more machines. Good prizes, fair prices. Fairest prices for machine parts under the Mesa. No tithes to the Sun Court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the Sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner? If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no market for those. A long-leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. So which... Uh... No market for a snap maw lens is good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day, I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. The sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Uh, hello? I've told you as many times as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Enough! Well... They're a blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. No tithes to the Sun Court, like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap maw lens. Fine. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait! You drove her off. Snap Ma Lance, what do you say? I drove her off? <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress, long leg lens. Hunters, scroungers, oh, bring us your metal. Your... Scroungers? I brought you both the parts. So, what do you say? I don't suppose I could buy just the one. You'd buy the wrong one. So give the hunter her shards for both. Of course, of course. Here you are. If this is the price I have to pay... The price you have to pay? The snap maw lens might just cover the loss we take on the other. It won't sell for a loss, charcoal burner. You'd pay handsomely for a long leg lens if you had an imagination. I have an imagination. When you rattle that piece of junk around, I think of your skull. I told you from the beginning this wouldn't be a scrap-dealing operation, that we would have class. And I told you, a true metal seller knows to get his hands dirty. As you like And you're going to stand here and do nothing? Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. You're that Nora who saved the Sun King. 
You'd help my family? Oh, but it may be too late. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. What kind of machines? Where did they come from? A Ravager. By the sun, how it cut down those guards, and a pack of Watchers came with it. The Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect Freeholds beyond the valley, but... Well, Father never saw this coming. Tell me more about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. But what about the people there? Of course. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister, plus a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survived. I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will? Oh, thank you. Oh, please, be careful. Those machines are deadly. This must be Ronamon's family estate. machines attack without warning. Thank you. I didn't really believe anyone was coming for me. I think everyone else is dead. Tell me what happened when the machines attacked. There were screams. I came running. The Ravager ripped through the guards like dolls. My father pushed me into the larder. I heard him kill a Watcher. Then, blasts from the Ravager's cannon. Silence. I tried opening the door, but he'd locked me in. He saved your life, and I'll never be able to thank him. Do you have any idea where the machines came from, or why they attacked so suddenly? We've been seeing more and more machines around here every year. That's why my father hired more guards. But they've never attacked like this before. I have no idea what caused it. Stay here. I'm gonna have a look around. I will. I need to take a moment with my father. A 
key. Wonder what it unlocks. I need to get in there and look at that thing. That device is sending out a signal. Could be what attracted the machines. Okay, that should cut the signal. But someone put this here to call on the machines and kill everyone on the estate. I found a lure. I think someone might have put it here deliberately to draw in the machines. Did your father have enemies? <sighs> Ranaman, my brother. First there was gambling, then stealing, then extortion. He swore vengeance when my father kicked him out. It was Ranamon who begged me to come. He needed the machines cleared out to claim the property. We can't let him. That murderous snake. Can't let me do what, sister? Claim my inheritance? We shared a crash, murderer. Have you no honor? Oh, I guess not. But I will have this estate. When you meet father in the next life, tell him I'm enjoying his money. And as for you, this little device will summon more machines. A lot easier than killing you myself. <laughs>
I'm glad there are good people like you in the world. It helps to make up for scum like my brother. My father was always generous in his gratitude. A family tradition I would like to continue. Take this. I hope it will help you in your travels. Can you spare a moment? Someone robbed my house! Sun and Shadow. You're the Nora who saved the Sun King. They say you track the Asaram assassin with your second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the Liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape, and listen. All I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see. Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. We're letting the Aquam take Durval? They'll give him a wrap on the knuckles and let him go. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way you'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword though. 
He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. Sure, Guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them of wealth and contentment, while people beneath him suffer. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat, or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. Oh. I'm sorry. So am I. Where is the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner Nassan disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. Don't ask me where to go if you're lost. I'm a guard, not the town crier. A fork. This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. Like there was a scuffle here, but no body. If someone dragged Nassan off, there should be tracks. Well, here we are. Let's see where they went.
The Shadow Carja outpost. Let's hope there's someone is inside. Someone over here doesn't look good. He's coming Goodbye, for us! quiet approach. Don't let me die. I'm not gonna die. It's a bloody route! I missed! Rightful coming good.
I've got Nassan, all right. He needs help. Let's try this again. I'll keep it simple since you're obviously feeble. What were you doing out by the fork? It was a picnic. With your mother. I think he's trying to hurt your feelings. Won't work. My mother loves a good picnic. Be that as it may, we're not getting anywhere. That's all right. I don't mind breaking a few of his bones. How many do you think we'll have to crack to make him squeal? Hmm, he's got spirit. Might take seven. All right. I'm taking wagers. Hmm? Is that... that yeah. Hard away. Shadow detected! Kinji, you've sent me. Let's get you out of here. I thought that old salt had abandoned me. <laughs> Guess I owe him a slap on the back. Come on, this way. Kindi, you've told me about the cause. Did you lose the shipment? No. It's hidden nearby. There's a lot of hungry people in Sunfall that will be happy to see it. Good. Now, listen. When you head back to Meridian, talk to a noble named Ravon. If you're honest with him, I think he'll help. Beg a high blood for help? <sighs> but after everything you've done, I can't refuse. But for now, I'm bound for Sunfall. Be safe. A man named Nassan came to see me, and we came to an arrangement. I think many in Sunfall will benefit from it. All this from a stolen sword. As they say, follow the shadow, and you'll find a flame.
the one who foiled the plot against our city. The sun honors me with our meeting. You're Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Oh, uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander. Then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices. Not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. While Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. Uh, what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram, who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. A shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glindhawks perched there, drawn to the spire's shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the Red Raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried, in the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. But for me, at least, they hang heavy. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your- Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant to... a well-molded woman such as you. <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, 
I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Those Banook are canny. Too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. <laughs> You're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learned how they do it, Think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban-Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Hmm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, uh, Nora girl, <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities, risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> it's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. The grave wart. And the shadow of a metal devil. Great. Too. Heard something. Frozen in ice, in time.
Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? Looks like quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, I think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> if this is really it, I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> Here it comes. Breeze! You getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died here. People die all the time. I'll keep going and find something interesting. <sighs> Operation Enduring Victory. What did that be? <clears throat> Operation Enduring Victory. What did that mean? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to have turned out very well. Tuck that away. been where the soldiers slept. Like the lodge in Mother's heart, I guess. Log. Third Battle of California Marine. The swarm came in from the Pacific, and 
I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the crazy 15th, but they'd set the garbage patch alight. Man, the sea was on fire. That stuff was... <sighs> the first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. They bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled them inland, back to the Kalmar sprawl. Dropped buildings on them, EMP'd the grid. Standard operating procedure. <sighs> the last time I was in California, I was... Five, six? The light was like that vintage social net filter that was everywhere in the 40s. Silence, you getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died here. People die all the time. I'll keep going and find something interesting. <sighs> Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Kalmar, and projections were a lot worse for the East. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burb to train Minutemen. It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. They were still printing barracks right up until the hour the main force hit. The Minutemen? We ran combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived, trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn, like we know something they don't. I swear, the more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. And us? I'm not so sure. Was this place? Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically, 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficiency. Consider yourself reminded and enjoy your gaming. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know, 20 drops. In and out of the West Coast, fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals. Their training is basically, here's a DEW. When you see a bot, hit it. <laughs> but somehow it's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse at Lithium Beach. Pulled out before its buddies arrived, but to see a big one go down. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're gonna have a shot at turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs, and everything will be the way it used to be. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are uh, getting real long and tougher every time. The swarm is getting better at predicting us. Less of us now. And we have to put in ten times the work for everyone gone. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't my family. It's not with you. I still try to see you. The life we had in the eyes of the people out there. I remember when they were glad to see us. When they still had hope. It all seems to be slipping away. I don't even recognize the places we're defending. The only thing I know I'm still fighting for is... You. The Zero Dawn to turn this around? Or whatever the hell that is. The furnishings were metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? If it was the metal world, I guess they were used to it. Just one bed. Maybe the war chief's room.
spread light. Guess that means no power. These wires must run to the power source. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. Three power lines, three sources, that makes one. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. The bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poetry from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations. That's two. One more.
for later. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees. Scrappy guys and gals. That's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are uh, getting real long. We have to put in for work for everyone. Like a family business, I still see you in the eyes of the people out there. They were glad to see us. They still had hope. I'm still fighting for you. Status report. 9th Mechanized Response Brigade, Commanding Officer Lieutenant Fiona Morrell. Unit morale continues to be adversely impacted by outbound engagements against the Pharaoh Plague. Especially when said engagements occur in sectors where civilian guard enlistees have been heavily engaged. The scope and nature of fatalities suffered by civilian guard and unarmed civilians in these sectors defy description. And witnessing it is generating a pervasive sense of hopelessness in the unit. Accordingly, I once again request that deployments of the 9th MRB be temporarily refocused on facilities that are mission critical to Project Zero Dawn. And once again, I request an immediate update on the status of Project Zero Dawn's timeline. Ames, I don't even know if you're alive anymore. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound... They sound recycled. Phrases put together, and you don't say anything about the news I pass on. The containment zone, the rebreathers, the rioting, one Earth. What happened in the Dallas bubble, Ames? That wasn't the robots. They won't even give me a straight answer when I demand to know if you're still alive. They just say if your messages keep coming, then you're still operational. It's not fair, Ames. It's not fair that you won't be with me when the lights go out. I love you. That's so sad. I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andrus and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting, but when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever going to be the same, but I believe in you. I believe in us.
is a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? Stocking up?
those all at once. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to sack her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on. If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Or... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting fleet this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base. What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? <sighs> Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. <sighs> and the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. <sighs> The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades, a whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines. 
not before the world she knew her civilization ended. Now, how am I gonna get down from here? Oh, this should be quite the ride. I'd do that again, if it weren't so much work to get back up there. Snow. It's not getting any warmer out here. <sighs> 